Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video, I am going to be making some G Fuel gummy bears. So the flavor I've picked today is Bahama Mama. Um, this one is Roman Atwood inspired. And I thought as he's made his comeback, I'm super excited that he's back. Um, he's definitely my biggest in inspiration on YouTube. Um, I thought, yeah, let's start with his flavor, I guess. Um, yeah, so we have our cute little gummy bear moulds <laughs> right there. I have a bowl of water um, to soak the leaf gelatin in. Um, I'm really not sure how much of this stuff I need to make gummy bears, but we're going to wing it <laughs> and hope they turn out okay. Um, yeah, so let's take out some of the gelatin right then okay it says direction soak the required number of sheets of gelatin for five to seven minutes in cold water so I've got a bowl of cold water down here um, then remove them squeeze then add directly to the warm preparation blah 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 heat and dissolve oh, okay so I think I need to put it in a pan I don't know, we'll wing it. <laughs> right, so it says six sheets will set 500ml of liquid. So if we go with about 450ml and we use, I don't know, 10 sheets, they should set. Don't know what is setting the dogs off. Right, let's push those in, make sure they're all submerged. So at about, I'll be back in, what did it say, five to seven minutes, so I'll be back. So whilst we're waiting for our gelatin to soak in the water, I'm just going to add the G Fuel powder to the shaker. So I only have 200ml in here, so I can add... Um, the rest should be boiling water to, I don't know, do what needs to happen to the gelatin. So. Let's give this a shake. Okay. We'll give that another little shake up in a minute when we're ready. This stuff looks like it's growing. Pop it up here, then you can see. <laughs> Weird. Oh well. Right, we'll leave this to do its thing for a few more minutes, and I'll go down, boil the kettle, and bring up the boiling water. Okay then, so I'm back, and we have boiling water in here. I've got 250ml, I think, 3 ounces. 3 ounces? 8 ounces. Huh? <laughs> can't read. Right, so... Just gonna make a mess. Bring that up, and then what I've got to do... Oh god, it feels gross. Is squeeze them out. <laughs> And pop them in the boiling one. So I guess stir at the same time to dissolve. <laughs> I 
Oh, that feels nasty. Well, they are dissolving, so I guess that's a good sign. That's the last one. That looks like that's all dissolved nicely. So give this a shake. Shall I add it to the thing? No one's in there. Add the gelatin to the shaker, I think. Oh, that smells delicious. <laughs> Give that a shake. Right then, here's all our little mini gummy bears. You see those? Right. Gonna be foamy. Hopefully, it gets through the foam. Oh, I love that smell. Okay, then, so <laughs> let's go through the foam, start dropping. Oh, I really hope this works. Okay then guys, so all of the gummy bears are piped out into there, so what I'm going to do now is go ahead and put them in the fridge for, I don't know how long, um, but whenever they're ready I will take them out and I'll be right back, so I'll catch you in a second. Okay then guys, so I am back and here are the gummy bears that came out of the mould, so next time I do this I'll probably add more leaf gelatin or less liquid as they were still quite like weak not really gummy more still more like jelly um but yeah let's 
Look how cute that little guy is. <laughs> yeah, let's give him a taste test. So you definitely get that great G Fuel Bahama Mama flavour. But better as a sweet, as a candy, I guess, than a drink. So they're still like quite sticky, like jelly-like, but I guess if I do this again, which I'm gonna do it again, so if you have any suggestions as to what as to which G Fuel flavour you'd like to see me make next, then leave me a comment down below. But I might just pick a flavour for the time being and try one again this afternoon to try and get the consistency right. But I mean, who doesn't like, like gummy bears? So... Yeah, if you enjoyed this video, please be sure to leave a like, add a comment, subscribe to the channel, and yeah, I'll catch you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.